3.8. On the touch, clock begins. Millsap to win it. Rolled it over the rim, and the ball game is over. Hey, Utah lucky there. Gobert falls on the ground, and Paul Millsap is wide open. On the day where he was magnificent. Watch this here. Oh, look at that dribble there to lose Gobert. Wow. Throws to Lopez at the rim. Five tenths. There it is at the rim. Put in. No! We're going to... Six tenths of a second left. Magic inbounding. Courtney Lee again. Great play, Ron. Stan Van Gundy designed a great play, the screen that freed Courtney Lee, and he can't put in the layup to end the game and tie this series in one game of peace. Is that goaltending? No. He can't hit the rim like that. Uh, his finger got caught in the net. Okay. Okay. In the game. And a five-point deficit. Harris hits a three, a two-point game. 1.2. And they've got a foul, but they don't oh, 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 oh. oh. Get the basket. Timers run out. Oh, Kenyon Martin played with that ball. He actually offered for the defender to touch it because it's a technical. He wanted the defender to touch it in front of him, Karolinko. Karolinko didn't fall for it. It slipped out of Martin's hands, and I thought that was the game. Right here. Before this, though, he, he said he had touched it. Out. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It looks like the same kind of setup. They'll look for John Starks running out to the top. The Starks cuts to the corner. Inbounds to Ewing. Down to three. Down to two. Ewing. Not over the head. And it's all over. The Indiana Pacers have defeated the New York Knicks 97 to 95 to take the series in seven. And they advance to the Eastern Conference Final. Tinsley looking for a cutter. Over the top, Millsap! Oh, it comes up! What a play design by Coach Corbin. Up by two, 91-89. Kobe with the dribble. Shot on the way. Not going to get there. Denver with an opportunity. Gallinari is ahead of the pack. He will miss it. Gallinari missed it. The Lakers are going to win. Brothers, 1.1. How about that? Danilo Gallinari had the game tied, and he missed an unmolested layup. Wow. Gallinari is probably wants to. There's no place that he wouldn't want to hide right now. Uncontested layup, he misses it. He uses his left hand, and he uses his left hand very, very well. It's not like it's the first time he's ever attempted. Sees Joe makes that move, which shouldn't be until seven. They got to jump and make the foul, I would think. Six seconds left. Johnson throws it, intercepted. Knight, two seconds, one second. Oh, he missed it at the horn. Seen anything like that? My goodness, we are going to double overtime on a missed layup by Brandon Knight. Joe Johnson got caught in no man's land, waited a long time, and here's Brandon Knight. He would have beaten the clock. Oh, yeah, that was the one second and change on that. Joe goes off, leaves his feet here. Watch now what happens. You leave your feet, you float. Great step in. I think the only thing I can think of that distracted him was the fact that he knew that somebody was from behind. Uh, there's right. shock from the next <laughs> bench. Jason Kidd believes his team has a win at the horn. Wow. You can't make that up. That's a crazy script right there. You just can't make it up. Double overtime at Barkley Center. On a wild finish. As I always